Good morning from Porta Plata. Today's adventure, dune buggies and some beach time. Across from us is actually Amber Cove, which is where Carnival has their port. So just a nice little view from across the way. Lots of beautiful countryside on the drive. However, it is worth noting that over half of the trip was on dirt trails that had lots of potholes. So very, very bumpy and uncomfortable in certain locations. Just be prepared for that if you take this excursion. Welcome to Chuka Ocean Outpost at Coconut Cove. This was the location we went for dune buggy. They also had ATVs as well as zip lines. As you can see, standard gift shop as you enter. Important note, if you are doing dune buggies or ATVs, you do have to have closed toed shoes. Make sure you bring them. Right to the right as you enter, there's a meeting area where you will meet prior to your tour on your ATV, zip line, or dune buggies. Left hand side is where the food was. Now our excursion did not include it, but it was $15 a person for a buffet style meal. I heard it was very delicious, although I did not have any myself, as I said. They also have a few other uh, individual items that you could purchase. This is also where one of the open bars were, and there was welcome punch when we got there. Very delicious. bench style seating and there was uh, areas both inside to keep you from the elements and outside where it overlooked the beach as well as the zip lines. Now you can see here uh, this is actually where the zip line starts, so it looked like there were three points. The first point took you out and across a little bit of water, then a small walk up a hill, then your longer zip line that took you across the ocean, and then the final zip line that brought you over the heads of everyone sitting on the beach. There weren't too many people there when we were there, so there was plenty of seating for you to enjoy. No additional cost for the umbrella and the chairs here. As you can see, right above your head is where the final leg of the zip line was. There was another kind of garden area that had wonderful shade cast by the trees. As you can see, the lounge chairs here. Just a nice place to sit if you didn't want the noise of the DJ that was playing on the beach and just wanted to kind of be away from the action and 
and just kind of sit there and enjoy nature. Do us a huge favor and like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions about the Chuka Ocean Outpost. Stay tuned for part two where we have fun with dune buggies and stop for coffee at Tia's.